Hey guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we've got some pretty interesting Destiny information. Now that's because an entirely new official trailer for the Age of Triumph content offering hitting Destiny March 28th has just been released. This trailer's purpose is to tease the upcoming Age of Triumph official livestream on Wednesday, March 22nd at 10 a.m. Pacific time. There has been two previous official live streams, the first one just detailing an overview of the Age of Triumph and the other one detailing changes to weekly activities. This one is going to showcase the loot, the gear and weapons that is coming with the Age of Triumph. And that's what the trailer kind of shows off as well. So let's get into it. We're gonna showcase the trailer and then analyze all of the information it reveals, talk about how the information impacts you and impacts the future of Destiny. Now before we do guys, quickly, if you enjoy this content and want to see more, please remember to support the video by liking, commenting, and especially sharing. It's a simple thing to do, but it really does help me out, and I really appreciate everyone who does do it. Now, on to the trailer. Today, and tomorrow, and every day, you fight for us. You have shown me what it is to hope. We thank you, Guardian, and we will never forget. So, there you have it. And although that was a relatively short trailer, Bungie packed it with a lot of information, so we do have a decent amount of things to discuss. Now, I do see people comment stuff like, oh, you could have done these videos in three minutes. Yep, if I would have read off the bullet points as quickly as possible, but I like to take my time and analyze the news, not just spew it out to you guys. Instead of saying something like, there is going to be no more vault space increases in the Age of Triumph, okay, moving on, I talk about why that's important, who it impacts, and how it's going to shape the future of Destiny, and even some things that Bungie could potentially do to fix it. So if you're someone who wants these videos to be done as quickly as possible, this probably isn't the channel for you. But if you're someone who wants to be as informed as possible coming out the other side, then stick with the channel. Also, to the people saying that I'm purposely extending the videos to get more of that YouTube revenue, yeah, you caught me. The guy who doesn't have like goals, the guy who doesn't have fake ass competitions to get more likes, doesn't have Patreon, and only got merch about a month ago, and keeps forgetting to shout it out, yeah. I'm the guy ripping you off. Ugh. Now, sorry about that rant. 95% of you guys are absolutely lovely, but every once in a while, you gotta put the trolls in their place. Okay, on to the news. So, we got a bunch of looks at the new weapons and armor coming to Destiny with the Age of Triumph. Well, I guess I shouldn't necessarily say new, rather updated. Now what is potentially new is that Bungie did say, or at least I'm 99% sure I heard them say, that they're going to introduce entirely new armor sets to all of the different raids that can accommodate these new ornaments. Regardless, we'll find out for sure on Wednesday, but what we do know for sure right now is that three out of four of the raids, Vault of Glass, Crota's End, and even King's Fall are being updated in light level so that their hard modes match the 390 light hard mode of the Wrath of the Machine. And all of the raids, even the Wrath of the Machine, are getting entirely new raid ornaments. These new special Age of Triumph ornaments are earnable, as you can see right here, for doing the weekly kind of challenge mode for a featured raid. We're going to start off with Crota's End on March 28th, and then it goes to Vault of Glass and so on. So that's how you earn these new ornaments, and I wanted to mention that because you're going to be seeing these ornaments all the time throughout the trailer and throughout the screenshots we're going to analyze. And before we take a look at the armor, I do want to look at this screenshot here. It shows the speaker. 
talking to the tower. And I wanted to draw attention to this because I feel like it's very, very interesting. I hope that this is an example of how Bungie is not just adding a bunch of activities, but also adding some cutscenes, some quests, and some actual storytelling within the Age of Triumph. It has been confirmed that the Age of Triumph is the last content edition to Destiny until Destiny 2. So if they're going to set up anything in the story so that we kind of know what's going on in Destiny 2, the Age of Triumph is the vessel that they're going to have to do that in. So having this screenshot of the speaker talking to the entire tower, hopefully having some story exposition, this is some good news. Okay, now let's move on to the armor. This screenshot here shows kind of what we've been seeing a lot, which is the updated Vault of Glass armor. You can see that, you know, the arm is definitely glowing. That looks cool. We have the robotic leg that was shown off uh, much, much earlier, actually shown off all the way when this was first announced in the picture talking about this live stream. But we get a little bit more looks at the Vault of Glass armor. And actually, for the first time, we see it kind of in full force on the warlock at least. Moving on we got, holy crap, a look at the new Crota's end armor with the new ornaments there. That looks insane! Wow! Th that just looks so much cooler than the Vault of Glass armor I've gotta say. Or perhaps not necessarily cooler but just a lot more showy offy if you know what I mean. So this again is very clearly the Crota's end armor ornamented out, just completely has all the ornaments you can have. Now, moving on, however, we have this screenshot here of a warlock in the new King's Fall armor. And I say new King's Fall armor because although it doesn't look anywhere near as insane as the Crota's End armor, as you can see from this screenshot of the current King's Fall helmet, this is definitely different. And this does make me think that there is an entirely new set of armor. You're not just earning new ornaments, but you're earning new armor to accommodate those new ornaments. That or the King's Fall armor is just a lot more lame. But we actually have another screenshot here showing off on the left, Crota's End armor looking fly. On the right, we pretty clearly have the Wrath of the Machine armor with its new ornaments. You can very easily tell it's glowing red and more so than just the normal armor pieces for sure, but it's not glowing with that same capacity uh, as the current ornaments are now in the game. Like the current ornaments just kind of shoot out. They look honestly not that great, but this armor kind of seems like they've reined that back and then just have a more intense glow on the surface of the armor. In any event, it looks great, but in the middle, in the middle is very interesting. At first glance, when I saw it in the trailer, I thought, oh, that's the Vault of Glass armor, but at closer inspection, that's actually the King's Fall armor. So this is a look at the new King's Fall armor with glowing ornaments. You see there's kind of cracks within the armor appearing and glowing in the dark. That looks really cool. And in fact, when you look at the side by side between that armor and what the Warlock is wearing, it really does look like the Warlock has a set of armor but doesn't necessarily have the ornaments turned on, whereas we have the ornaments turned on and glowing in this other picture. So that's pretty interesting there. Now admittedly, I could be overanalyzing the situation and the ornaments just make the armor look different and not necessarily glow, or different characters have different degree of glowing, but regardless, we've already got to take a look at some new Vault of Glass armor, the new Crota's End armor actually for all three characters, and the new King's Fall armor, and a little bit of looks at the new Wrath of the Machine armor. And in fact, we get a big look at all of the different armor pieces here with this final shot at the end of the trailer. On the left, we have what we kind of saw before with the Warlock King's Fall armor, looking fantastic with massive horns, holy crap. To the slight right of that, we have Wrath of the Machine. That doesn't look too much different, but to the right of that, we have a Titan wearing the updated Vogue gear, and that looks insane. Like, there's a big glowing fan on his back. 
And one to the right of that, we have Crota's End Armor. To the right of that, we actually get a look at the new Wrath of the Machine ornaments, this time for the Titan, and it looks just fantastic. You can see there's glowing orbs and it has floating material, like floating SIVA cubes above the shoulders. That looks so good. Again, it looks so much better than the current Wrath of the Machine ornamental armor. I've gotta say that. And of course, at the far right, we have the Vogue Hunter. And we actually get in another screenshot a look at the Vault of Glass armor for the Warlock, as you can see here. This, kind of similar to the Titan, where it has that massive thing on his back, the Warlock gets the Vault of Glass kind of tentacles that are found on the Harpies on its back as well. And that looks absolutely great. Like, I can't wait to get my hands on that. Now moving on from Strictly Armor, let's take a look at some of the updated weapons shown off in the trailer as well, and let's start off with, yup, the Vex Mythoclast. As you can see here, it definitely looks a little different from its current in-game counterpart, and the real question is, is this the look of the updated Vex Mythoclast, or does it have an ornament on? Well, we really don't know right now, but it does seem like a lot of the raid weapons are getting updated in appearance for the Age of Triumph. For example, we get a look at the updated Fatebringer here, definitely looks different than its in-game counterpart. And of course, we also get to see the Warlock with the flying tendrils on full display. Next up, we have a Titan reloading a sniper rifle. I can't really tell what that sniper rifle is from this angle. Let me know in the comment section if you know what it is. And on his back, he has what looks like the Abyss Defiant Crota's End Auto Rifle. Or at least I thought so until I was editing this video and looked at a picture of the Abyss Defiant and it doesn't match. What it does match is the Crota's End Shotgun, the Sword Breaker. Now the interesting part here is that he's using a sniper and a shotgun. Um, what? Could be Bungie was using this in the test environment and wasn't paying attention and this is just by accident. Could be some crazy reveal of the fact that we can have double secondaries. Honestly, I don't know. Or this could also show that some of the weapons are being updated. Perhaps the Abyss Defiant looks different now in the update versions than it did in the old versions. A lot of possibilities here from kind of just a simple screenshot. And from this screenshot, you also get a really good look at the updated King's Fall Titan armor. And guys, the last screenshot we're going to analyze is this one here, showcasing the Dragon's Breath with an entirely new tiger-themed ornament. Looks actually pretty fantastic, and so this will be one of the new exotic ornaments coming with the Age of Triumph. So, what does all of that information mean for you? Well, what we saw today is a lot of new, really cool looking armor hitting Destiny soon. And that is definitely good. Like for me, I'm excited now to go out and earn a entire set of that Crota's End armor. That is definitely the armor that stands out to me uh, as just looking fantastic. And that's exactly what you want. Like to watch a trailer like this, to see the new armor and to say, holy crap, I've got to get me a set of those. Like that is really a great example of giving Destiny players a reason to play. And because these ornaments are kind of locked behind um, these weekly raid activities, it does mean that you'll take a while to earn them. And that's good, it just gives you more reasons to log on every week to do these weekly raid activities and not just be able to get all of this stuff right away and then be bored very quickly once the Age of Triumph hits Destiny. So these are all good things. Like these are all very positive things for making Destiny last longer. My one slight concern is that we didn't see any new or updated weapons other than the raid weapons. We knew the raid weapons were coming back, but hopefully they've got a little bit more variety than that. There was a post on a Bungie weekly update, in fact, last weekly update on Thursday, that talked about the fact that they are bringing back old year two iron banner weapons that's really exciting and that means that 
you're going to have essentially new weapons entering the fold because you can't get those weapons right now. No one has access to them unless they've held on to them and not many people have done that. So having those weapons infusible again or at least brought forward so you can actually get them again, they are still technically infusible, that's definitely some good news. I hope they go the extra mile and bring back some of the old year one weapons. There's a lot of weapons in the game right now that you can actually use but they are impossible to loot and get. Again, this is the last expansion for Destiny. Bungie needs to bring their A game if they want Destiny in a good state for when Destiny 2 launches, which is what you do want. You know, you want the Destiny fans being happy with how Destiny turned out and not disenfranchised and disappointed because that's definitely going to not lead people to go and get Destiny 2. And so guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you actually want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickKakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow as is my merch and so guys i hope you enjoyed the video and as always have a good day